If you're looking for a quick Pilates arm workout, you're going to love this class where you're not even going to have to get down on your mat. We're going to sit up on a big ball as an option just to ensure that you're staying connected to your center while you use a light set of weights for this arm workout. Hi, my name is Beth and welcome to Trifecta Pilates. This is a place where we come together on the Pilates mat for an effective workout so you can step off your mat and enjoy your day. If you're ready for your arms to feel the Pilates burn while you stay connected to your center, join me on the mat. Let's go ahead and begin having a seat. Arms can be by your side here and just really plant through your feet, especially if you are up on the ball. The ball is going to challenge you a little bit with stability and that's what we want for this routine. Keep breathing in and out and let's just let the arms float up, maybe to a Y position, and then press the arms back down. So just allowing yourself to get comfortable in this seated position. Long arms, deep breathing. Next time arms reach down, they can stay pressing gently against the ball. And you're going to lift one leg up and down, switch sides. It's not uncommon to feel maybe a little bit wobbly if you're seated on a ball. Just find how stable can you stay. So trying not to let the ball shift side to side. One last time. And now extend one leg, switch sides. And if you need a little less support, you can take your hands on the pelvis. That changes things a little bit. So just getting more comfortable with trying to stay stable, but challenging that stability at the same time. So when we say that we're going to stay stable in Pilates, it doesn't mean that you have to stay rigid or stuck. One last time. And now you'll go ahead and pick up your weights here. Take arms to the side and let's repeat what we got started with. Reach arms up to about a Y, press down. So the arms are staying relatively straight. There's just a slight bend in the elbows. And even though arms lifting up, we're not feeling any work through the neck here. Now staying stable on the ball as the arms reach and lower. One last time. Very nice, let the arms lift in front of you, lower back down. So to about shoulder height and down. You're feeling yourself stay nice and stable on the ball, pressing evenly into the feet here, breathing deeply. Two more arm movements. Now let's lift the arms up, about parallel to the floor, palms face up, bicep curl and extend. Bicep curl and extend. So you can use heavier weights for this motion. You wanna feel that you're staying grounded with your feet, stable on the ball. And the work is isolated into the arms, again, not the neck. Now we'll keep the arms bent this next time. A little press up, lower, a little press up and lower. Breathing. After this motion, let the arms rest for the next movement. One last time. Very nice, reach the arms down. You can put the weights down or just have them in your hands lightly and go back to that lift and lower. Alternating legs. 
So back to a little bit of stability work here. And you can keep the leg bent or extend, extend. So a little bit quicker now. Sometimes quicker makes it easier. Sometimes it makes it more challenging. So just notice for you, the faster pace, how your body is responding to that. One last time. Both feet stay down. Reach the arms up, lower them down. Reach the arms up and down. So right back to where we got started again. We'll just do one last time. Now pull the arms back, return. This should be an easier motion. Just the way that we're seated and force of gravity, feeling more open with the shoulders and chest, ease with the neck. Continuing to breathe deeply. Now, next time the arms pull back, keep them there and pivot yourself forward. So it's like you're peering over a ledge. Bend the elbows and extend. Bend, extend. Focus on the arms going back to that straight position. There's a slight pause when you do that. Keep breathing and moving, isolating the work into the back of the arms. Now keep the elbows bent, reach them down to the floor towards the toes, pull the shoulders back up. Reach the arms to the toes, pull the shoulders back up. Again, you may be able, or you may want a slightly heavier weight. Just notice how your sensation is feeling. Where are you working? So if it doesn't feel like much is going on, heavier weight. If it feels like it's too much work or you have work in your neck, lighter weight. Two more times, two. Keep the elbows pulling back, sit yourself upright once again, palms face up. Just open the arms out to the side and extend the arms and bend. So when you extend, there's a little lift there, and bend. Extend, small lift, and bend. Again, this one shouldn't be too challenging. We'll just do one last time. Bend, lower arms down, lift arms, shoulder height, circle in front, lower. Lift arms, shoulder, front, Lower, using breath. Pressing still evenly into your feet here. After one more time in this direction, we'll reverse it. So reaching forward, open and down. The rest of the body stays really still as the arms are moving. It's really important. So center body, stay stable, just the arms moving and breath. One more time, this direction. Lowering the arms down, lift them up, parallel bend. Now open the arms out to the side, close. Open the arms side and close. Breathing out and in. We're almost there. Two more times, two and one. Very nice, extend and let the weights come down. Go back to that arm lift, no weights. No weights. Now we're going to work full range of motion, one arm only. I'll reach the arm up, hand comes between the shoulders, reach the arm up. Open it out and you're going to reach it up along your back and return. So we'll do a few more times this side. 
using no weight, focusing more on range of motion. There's still not work in the neck. Still trying to press evenly into the feet here. We'll do one last time through and switch sides. Reach arm, hand comes down. You may know this difference, one side compared to the other. I always do with this particular motion with the arm. Noticing when your body wants to move, your arm's moving, yes. But I notice as I get to that end range or my shoulder feels a little stretch that my body wants to make adjustments, accommodations for it, rather than really just staying in the experience of the stretch. We'll do one last time through here. Very nice. Both hands reach down and go back to that lift. Lift. Just breathing deeply and extend, extend. No hands as an option. Another breath. Nice, feet down, a little bounce out if you're on a ball. Hey there, if you liked moving with that class and you're really looking to establish a strong foundation with the Pilates method to get stronger and more flexible, more mobile, the best thing that you can do is follow a plan. You can do this by moving with the seven day at home Pilates challenge. Whether you're brand new to Pilates or you're just getting back into Pilates after some time off, this is a perfect series to set you up for success with the method seven workouts, beginner level, giving you time and space to find the right variation for where you are right now. And when you do that, that's how you're going to get stronger and more flexible in a way that makes sense for you. All that you need to do is sign up using the link below in the first comment. After you sign up, we'll send you all the details and the first workout so you can get moving with Pilates. I hope that you have a beautiful day and I cannot wait for you to join me on the mat.